something has come along that changes our movies. It changes the way you see them, hear them, feel them. It changes the experience. It opens our eyes to something new. We invite you to dig deeper, to find things that you've never experienced before. This is the difference between watching our movies and living them. our movies on blu-ray hey guys welcome to another video and yes sorry for the lackluster quality here i hate this lighting with the shadow behind me i hate this shit but me and Lindsay, my girlfriend Lindsay, just uh moved in uh, our new room uh we upgraded to the bigger room i'm still in my normal house but uh we upgraded to like the master room and stuff so we're moving shit around stuff. That's where you see everything's a little different. Uh, I'm going to have a different, like, spot for shooting videos and stuff. And uh, we're just switching things around, making things more comfortable and everything like that. And I think I'm gonna, we're going to do a whole video of, like, a room tour of, the, of our new room and stuff and how we decorated it. So that's going to be cool and stuff. And, yeah, hopefully I'll be getting back to shoot some cool videos in a new spot and stuff. You know, change of location. It's always good to have a change of location and stuff. But this is a video I've wanted to talk about for a while. And I really wanted to talk about it. So I want to get through this and talk about it. There's a couple top ten lists and other shit I'll be doing in the next little bit. So, yeah, bear with this location and this bad lighting for, for now for the next couple of videos. But don't worry. I'm uh, setting – I'm trying to set up a new spot. Hopefully it'll be – pretty cool but you know whatever uh you get to hear me so that's why you guys subscribe to me you get to hear my magical voice and hear my biased opinions and so i wanted to talk about physical media i really wanted to talk about physical media i remember the good old days where i used to you know buy vhs tapes of disney films episodes of dragon ball z and all that kind of shit and i fucking loved it and i bought like Previously viewed DVDs uh, at like Blockbuster and Rogers Video because I live in Canada, and I remember always seeing great movies in theaters, and I always was always looking forward to buying it on Blu-ray every time I saw an Avengers movie or a Captain America movie or a Star Wars movie or just a movie I just really loved. I couldn't wait for it to come out on Blu-ray. And buy the Blu-ray, or buy the 4K, or buy the new DVD and stuff. And I loved watching old classic films and finding the old DVD or Blu-ray of that classic film and owning it in my Blu-ray collection and stuff. Something about the physical media and having a physical copy of a movie, just it brought out like this spark in me and stuff. And that's why I love to do like Blu-ray collection videos. I, I love to show all of you guys my Blu-ray collection and stuff. And I wanted to you know, collect all these great films and have a huge library of Blu-rays, DVDs, and all that shit and stuff. And I just loved physical media. And I always knew physical media was a dying thing, but I always wanted to keep it alive. I wanted to keep physical media alive, buy Blu-rays still, add to my collection, and just, you know, just have fun with it. And just wake up every morning and see my shelf of Blu-rays and all the stuff I got. And any movie I could watch that I own, I can just pop it in and just watch it anytime I want. And I have to admit, uh, I always, like I said, physical media was always a dying thing. But I think now more than ever, especially with the pandemic of COVID-19, it's dying all the more. And even me, myself, Jay Vaders, the guy who loves movies and physical media, I say it's a dying trend. And even me, I find myself buying less and less Blu-rays and 4Ks and DVDs more than ever now. Is it because of the pandemic? Possibly. But I just, I guess physical media is a trend that I, I respect people keeping it alive, but I understand now why it's dying and why people just can't 
put up with it anymore and you can't deal with it anymore because there's other things you can, it, that's just more convenient for you and much easier to grab the movie and stuff. And uh, yeah, let, let's just talk about it. Uh, let's go back to the very beginning of, uh, I'll go back at the beginning for me because I'm not going to go into like laser discs and shit like that. Uh, I was not around for that crap, but video cassettes were a thing of my childhood. I always loved video cassettes. I had the VHS of The Mask of Zorro, and I watched the fucking shit out of that goddamn movie. And I had Disney films like Lion King, Aladdin, Pocahontas even, and I didn't even like that movie. Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Fantasia, Mary Poppins. I had these VHS tapes, and just I, I watched them on repeat. And putting in the VHS tape, it just it, it, it just brought me into a new world and took me out of reality for 90 minutes or so. And I always loved the box art, and uh, I loved watching, like, looking at the back. Even as a little kid, I loved looking at the back of the case, see who made the movie, who was in this movie. I tried to learn actors' names at a very young age. I was a very odd kid. And I always wanted to look and see how long the movie was. I don't know why. I didn't even care how long it was. I just always wanted to know how long the movie was. So I always looked on the back of the VHS tape and wanted to see how long the movie was. There was no reasoning for why I did that, but I just wanted to know how long this movie was. And, yeah, I, just, I loved collecting VHS tapes. And then when it upgraded to high-definition DVDs, I'm like, holy shit, fucking DVDs. And it was awesome. DVDs were great. I probably collected more DVDs than I ever did Blu-rays. It's just I loved collecting DVDs and I loved ha having all these older films and stuff. I went to pawn shops and I went to like old stores and found old DVDs and bought them because I loved DVDs and collecting all these movies. And I wanted to be an avid movie collector. And every time friends came over to my house and they just like saw my DVD collection, they're like, whoa, that's so cool. I, I wanted that praise from my friends to see like how awesome my DVD collection was. And then when we went to, to Blu-ray, it was either high definition or Blu-ray. I, I, of course, Blu-ray was the way to go. And I collected Blu-rays and just I, I, I had this addiction. It was a healthy addiction, but still addiction nevertheless. And I just, I, I, especially when I got a job at the movie theater that I work at, and I was getting free movies. Anytime I saw a great film, I always said, I can't wait to buy it on Blu-ray. Cannot wait to buy the Blu-ray. And just, you know, watch it again and multiple times and stuff. Going to Best Buy, going to Walmart, going to Cinema One, which is a store in my mall, my local mall, and buying the new release Blu-ray. And it was great. It was fun. I did Blu-ray. You saw on this channel, I used to do Blu-ray hauls and do Blu-ray hunts with my cousin. And I, just, I love the thrill and hunting for a new Blu-ray or, or just a random Blu-ray to find like, when I found the Bond collection on Blu-ray for, like, 40 bucks, I was like, that's a fucking steal. Finding great deals for Blu-rays and movies that I love and grew up with and, and having them and owning them and having the disc in my hand, it was just, it gave me this power and this surge. I'm like, yes, I own this fucking film and I never have to search for it again because I can always watch it. But I just, nowadays, I almost don't see the bother of collecting Blu-rays or 4Ks now. And it's odd. It's very odd, actually. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, maybe it's a recent thing. I don't know. But especially because of uh, the pandemic, and we're not getting new releases anymore, and there's no looking forward to new movies coming out. And we might have to wait a whole year. And I think physical media will really get damaged because of that. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a strange feeling. Because I really think, especially now more than ever, physical media is dying. Look into just not, not movies, just other forms of entertainment. Uh, CDs. I used to collect CDs as a kid. I loved collecting like m and CDs and... Uh, Guns N' Roses CDs, and I had like a bunch of CDs, and uh, it became a dying thing. And I know like vinyl came back as this retro thing, but retro thing, sorry, and that even died out. 
because we have iTunes and Spotify, it's more convenient and much easier to get and download a song like that instead of going to a store and buying a CD. You can just download the CD on Spotify and listen to every song by your favorite artist. It's just much easier and simpler to do that. And you only got to pay a fee for Spotify, and you've got Spotify, and you have a this endless library of music. You don't have to go buy records or vinyls or CDs or cassette players. You don't have to do that anymore. You have your phone. You have your phone on you, and just go on Spotify, and you can download any song you want. So physical media for CDs is dead. Even for, like, um, for uh, television shows, like, Look at all the streaming services. You don't need to buy TV shows on Blu-ray or DVD anymore. There's no point. We have HBO. We got, like, Crave, CBS All Access. We have Hulu, uh, Netflix, Disney+. Plus, uh, Amazon Prime has many thousands upon thousands of movies and television shows. And, again, it makes it a lot more convenient for us to watch something and yes, you can almost pin it to laziness because we as a society are very lazy people and we don't want to get up and put the Blu-ray in the Blu-ray player and watch it. I'm like, well, I could just go on Disney Plus and watch that movie on Disney Plus. Just click on Disney Plus and click on the movie and watch it. You don't have to go through any trailers, skim through anything and click play. You don't have to do that anymore. Just go on Disney Plus or go on Netflix or go on Amazon Prime or Hulu or whatever your streaming service is. Click on the movie and watch it. Click on the television show and binge it. I will never buy a TV show, a, a physical copy of a TV show ever again, because if I want to watch any show that I love, I can go to a lot of these streaming services and just binge the show. It's a lot more time, a lot more timely and convenient for me. I don't need to buy the physical copy of Firefly anymore, or the physical copy of Buffy, or the physical copy of The Sopranos, or Breaking Bad, or Game of Thrones or something, I can literally just go on HBO and watch all of Game of Thrones right now. Even TV shows that I'm still stumbling upon, I can just go on streaming service and just watch it. I can just watch it. Like, it's that easy and that convenient, even that convenient to watch a movie. You can go on VOD and rent a film, or God forbid, I know a lot of people do it, but you can go online and bootleg a movie for free and just, it's a lot more easier now. Instead of physical copy you just you just download it or stream it and you can watch the movie or watch the tv show or listen to that song if you got spotify you can listen to music you got netflix hulu amazon prime cbs all access disney plus you can watch almost any movie you can and any tv show that you can like it's all at our disposal through streaming services and yes, it's killed the physical media, but it's a lot more convenient for us. Has it made us lazier? Of course, but it's easier. And we human beings want easier. And that's why it's destroying the physical media. And even for myself, I'm buying less and less Blu-rays now because I can just go on a streaming service and watch the movie. There are movies I own on Blu-ray, but I just watched it on the streaming service because it was just faster for me. I was on Amazon Prime a couple days ago. I have Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure on Blu-ray, but I just saw it on Amazon Prime. And I'm like, I feel like watching Bill and Ted. So instead of going to my shelf and picking up the Blu-ray for Bill and Ted, I literally just clicked on Amazon Prime and clicked play. Just like that. I had it right there. Click play. And then it played Bill and Ted for me. And I watched Bill and Ted. And it's great as always. But it was, it was just simpler. And because of that, physical media is truly dying. And I'm not saying it should die. I'm not... For that, but I'm almost becoming part of that trend that I find it more convenient to do a streaming service for movies and television shows, even video games. I'll even say video games, definitely video games. Especially, I'll go with PlayStation, my favorite, uh, my favorite system. It's a lot more easier to buy it on the PlayStation Store. Any video game, any video game it is so much easier to download the game on your PlayStation and then to go to EB Games or GameStop and buy the game and buy a physical copy of the game. For one thing, when you go to a store buying a physical copy of a game, you got to pay taxes on it. When it's like $79.99, you're paying like 90 bucks for it. When you go on the PlayStation store, 
70 bucks, just 70 bucks right there, and you don't have to go out and get it and then put the disc in and everything. No, you buy it right there, and you got it, and you downloaded it, and you play it right then and there. It's a lot more easier. The only way you would buy a physical copy of a video game is if you see it like on a bargain and you see a physical copy and stuff. And a lot of people can say, like, oh, but like, what if your PlayStation crash crashes? But that's why you have a PlayStation profile. The games that you download stay on your PlayStation profile. When you buy a new PlayStation, you have your profile and the games are still on, on it. You just back your files up and you get extended storage to put more games on your PlayStation. Downloading video games is a lot more easier than buying a physical copy of a video game. This is why physical media is truly dying. And it's it's upsetting a little bit. It's a little disheartening. It's like saying goodbye to an era, something I grew up with. Because I always used to look forward to do, doing all this. I used to look forward to buying a new CD. I used to look forward to buying a new movie, the new Blu-ray, the new DVD, the new VHS at the time of my lives. Like, I loved it. Even, like, a great television show. Uh, I loved buying seasons of it. I don't know when Smallville was on. I, I bought every season of Smallville when it came out on DVD. Every time a new season of Smallville came out, I bought the season and binged the season. It's just what I did. It's just what I did. I loved buying physical media. Even my video games as a kid, I loved buying the new PS2 games and the PS3 games and stuff. I just love physical media. But now it's just, it's easier now to just do it by downloading or streaming. Streaming and downloading are just so much more easier. And it truly has pretty much destroyed the physical media. And those collectors out there, I watch a lot of collectors out there like Durant Cinema and stuff. Uh, who dedicate their lives to collecting Blu-rays and 4Ks. I absolutely respect them. I 100% respect them. Because you got to keep physical media alive. you got to keep it alive. But am I the person to keep it alive? Probably not. And it's sad. I always will miss physical media. I'm still going to collect physical media. But my physical media collecting days have gone less and less. And it'll think it'll continue to be less and less. So yeah, that's just a little of my thought on physical media. So in the comments section, well, please tell me what are your thoughts on physical media? And do you think it's a dying thing? And do you think maybe in a decade from now there will be no physical media? Give your thoughts and opinions. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, for this video, please like, subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.